Hello folks here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue on this series of tutorial how to test a React application or how to test a React component. On the previous tutorial we learned how to mock a XCS delete method or how to make a test case for delete request. On this tutorial I'm going to show you how to test a on click handler. So if you remember on the last tutorial uh, we left this here this test coverage line we didn't cover and before to do that if you are new to my channel try to subscribe to the channel and also enable the bell to get all new videos and notification when I upload the new tutorial to the channel and also will advise you if you didn't watch the previous tutorials try go back watch them and then try to follow us here and I will leave the playlist for all this list of tutorials down of this video and you can go and try to watch the previous one and uh, let's go directly and jump on this and as i mentioned on the previous tutorial we left all of this test case here or this test cover to we didn't cover and how we can read the test cover basically if you see here on after if we run this again how to run the test coverage by running this uh, uh, script which npm run uh, coverage and this script i mentioned how you can add it in the first or second tutorial of this list of uh, tutorials for how to test react application so if we run this again so this will also will help us and uh, to find out which function we didn't test and and also will help us to, to, to drive us to create enough test cases for our application and as you see everything is uh, 100 all is this line here is it still is make our test not look good let's go and just smash it and how we can go for it so as you see here is a file called uh, this user card.js and uh, user uh, card.js is a component if you go back here to our code and inside this components let's go to this form and these users if in come inside users we have this user card here and also will tell us the line basically line number 10 if we go back to the terminal here this uncovered line line number 10 and uh, here this line number 10 basically what we need to check we need to check when this button is being clicked should calling this handle delete function and this should sort the issue okay uh, let's go back to we don't have a test case for this use uh, user card but we don't have a file uh, or test file for this user card but we have a test file for users uh, this uh, component here we can add also to the same basically we can import let's import here the user cards and be from slash user cards and I'm going to add another describe because this will be for different scenario here describe and inside just yes, will be our component and this describe will be with a callback function where we can add our test ca cases inside and the describe will be for this component and what we need to test we need to test only because already this component is being tested on this snapshot for the users we don't need to take the snapshot for this component we need only to test line number 10 as the test coverage show us and how to do that first let's call the component uh, const and then here will be result and structuring result equal render we need to call this render function here as a top imported from testing library react and inside render then we can call our uh, component which will be user uh, card and let's see user card will expect any props uh, yeah it will expect user and also will expect uh, handle delete uh, let's pass user and handle delete user will be this first name last name email and id and let's see inside i'm going to pass uh, first this handle delete i'm going to assign it to a just function because we are going to test it assign it to just just dot fun uh, fun here stands for function this will help you to test it properly and i need to pass it as a props and also i need to pass user let me create a user here const user first name last name and email id and this is a user you need to pass it also as a second props only one not two 
and now we have user do we need to add our expectation here we'll expect first we need what we need to test basically if we come back again to this line and to this component we need to test when click this button should call this function okay first let's select the button how to select the button the value of this button is uh, capital x let's first select it if we come back again to the test here let's create a variable call it button const button equal and this instead of result and not be result will be we are not we are going to call a method to select that button will be called query by query by text because we are going to select the button by the text and then we pass the text that we need to select it which is just x then this will be the button and there is a method we need to import it here called fire uh, fire event and this fire event will help us to fire a click or on click so the fire event dot click and what uh, the even where the event will be fired when we clicking when we click <laughs> not where we click and when we click or when we click on this button and then we expecting uh, this function where is it this function to have been called once one time to have been called times will be one so this should be doing it if i run the test uh, npm run test let's find out about this and this will take some second uh, here we are uh, there we have error for console logs say uh, this is just error uh, console log error uh, it's not related but the test case is pass if i need just to ignore this test uh, this console log test i can actually use this line here and this will help you to ignore this to make it more readable and if i go and run the test again let me just before run the test clear it run the test so this just will help you to remove the console errors and to have a clean file and this basically just mocking the console error to be empty object here so just to ignore this uh, erroring and the test case is passed but let also to check is fail if we expect it to be called twice then should the test fail and just always try to make sure also your test is failing and then that's right yeah that is failing because we expect to be twice but received only one yeah should be only tested one and also if i for example change this function to be just normal function also let's see that will not be work so just make it like that and then try to run it that is also should, should fail and and that it can tell you why we should use just dot fun and as you see it will just uh, receive a function so if you need to use this method for example to have been called with then you need or you have to change this to be a just function because you call it here and you expect it to be use this have been called with you have to sign this to just function so basically that how we can cover that line uh, for test coverage and also how we can test on click handler so basically first you create the first try to select the item that you are going to click on for example a button or a div uh, after selecting it then you need to fire this uh, on click after firing on click then you will uh, add your expectation here and also let's go back and try to check actually the test coverage just we need to make sure the test case we added cover the line if we touch the run the test coverage here after the fix we should uh, have 100 for that line Woohoo! we have 100 for all files and if we try just uh, to comment out this and try again to run it and this should show back the issues that we have it on line number 10 as you see the test coverage is less but if we take it back again should be 100 and all our file covered by the test we have proper test cases and i hope this was clear and was simple 
and uh, if you like the tutorial try to press some up and uh, leave your comment about the tutorial how was and how do you find it and if you have any question any comment try to also leave that down in the comment section and uh, also if you are new to my channel and still didn't subscribe try to subscribe and enable the bell to get all new videos and tutorial when i upload them to the channel and thank you for watching and see you on the very next tutorial